hi friends in the previous video we have understood what is the aircraft landing system and in this video we will see how the classification can be done actually we have already identified the inputs and outputs so in this video let us see how the classification can be done inputs and outputs we have already obtained okay so the first input is so the first input we have obtained is height so let me consider height is 0 to uh, maybe 1000 feet is the height okay if this is the height now what i need to do i need to convert this into three different membership functions so i want to make my one thing as membership function as low and this is from 0 to let me take it as 400 feet and let, let me take see second one as medium and medium is actually in membership functions each membership function should be collaborated with some other membership function that means there should not be any zero value in between the membership functions for example i have taken the membership function from 0 to 400 feet i cannot take the next membership function from 400 onwards because I need to start my next membership function less than 400 then only there is a common area and that should be definitely be there so coming to medium now I like to take medium from 300 to 700 300 to 700 feet similarly high high so high definitely i cannot start from six, uh, 700 so it, let me start from 600 and it will be 1000 so this is the basic idea of uh, taking the membership functions so now i like to draw the membership functions So the membership functions are drawn in this way. Okay. So this is thousand. So this part is 1000, so this one is 1000 feet, so obviously this one is 500 feet and this one is 400 feet and 700 is, this is 600 and this will be 700 feet, okay. So this is maximum value, so as we know the maximum value of membership function is 1. Okay, this is up to you uh, how you can design the membership function. So here I am designing the membership functions equally and that too I am taking the triangular membership function. Equally in the sense it is 0 to 400 feet. So I want to take the maximum value at the middle of that. So it is simply 0, 200 and 400. Okay, in that way we need to give in the map. Okay, 0, 200 and 400. So in the same manner I like to proceed here this is 2 400 so this part is 200 obviously so yeah so this is 200 this is 400 so this is the simple concept so this is lower And I can take this is 300 so obviously this is 200 and this is 400 this will be 300 and 300 and 400 so I will take maximum value at 500 so let me take it yeah this is 500 and obviously this is 700 
that's all uh, so the next one is this is 600 to 1000 so that should be in 800 800 is around this path the maximum is lying around 800 here and this is 1000 yes. so in this way we can design the things that's all so these are the items we have used for lower medium and high so let me really understand make you understand with the colors only so orange color is cell light this is L and blue is for medium and this is high green is high so that's all so this is the identification of membership functions so these are here i have used uh, here i have used only the institution method of membership value assignment okay simply i have taken by using institution so coming to the next one so this is the first input so second one is let me take the second input also so the second input is height is over so the second input is speed yeah for speed what is the value so let me take the value as 0 to 40 feet per second 40 feet per second so again i need to start our journey so lower i need to take the lower as 0 to maybe 15 feet per second also and medium is and medium is from 10 to 20 feet per second okay let me go ahead with up to 25 also 25 feet per second this is 25 feet per second next the next item is high high is uh, high is around 20 is there so i need to start from 20 to 40 so how to draw this Simply, so this is the up to 40. So let me write it this part as 40. So, yeah, so this is 40, this is 20, this is 40, this is 20, this is 30. Of course, this is 10. So now we can easily draw this. Of course, this value will be 1 membership value so now i can draw it from 0 to 15 uh, 0 to 15 means uh, midpoint is 7.5 so let me write it maybe approximately this is 7.5 and it is 15 the next one is with blue color and it is from 10 to 25 this is 10 oh. This is up to 15. So the next point is 10 to 25. 25 means it is around the maximum value is at 25. That means uh, it is 15 change. So obviously 7.5. It is 17.5. It will be here and it is 25. So the next point is green and it is 20 to 40. Obviously 30 is the middle point. So this is the membership function. 
for spin so let us go ahead with the output also so output is so output is very simple and output is angle so let me write it as angle only angle and this angle is measured yeah let the angle may be 0 to 60 degree and the lower is let me consider the lower as 0 to 25 degree and medium as 0 to i mean not 0 it is from somewhere uh, less than uh, 25 so obviously it should be 20 so 20 to 45 degree and the last one is high so this is uh, 40 to 60 degree that's all so let me take this oh sorry now let us draw the membership function for it so it is around yeah it will be drawn like this Yes. now we will start here so this is 60 so this part is 60 so so this is 60 degree so obviously this will be 30 degree and this is 10 degree 20 degree 40 degree and 50 degree and this will be one so obviously we can say this is from 0 to 25 so obviously 12.5 is the midpoint so 12.5 means it is around at this part uh, this is 10 this is 10 exactly so it will be 12.5 and the value is 25 25 means this is 20 this is 25 simply it's coming to 20 to 45 so this is 20 45 means it it should be uh yeah obviously 15 so 25 so it should be 12.5 so it is 32.5 yeah this is 30 maybe this is 32.5 and it is up to 45 this is 40 and this is 45 next the third one is green color and it is 40 to 60 degrees so let let me take it as 40 And it is 50, and this is 60. Simply. So these are the uh, different uh, membership functions. So please try to understand these things. So this is the way of uh, fuzzifying the concepts. I mean, fuzzifying the input and output. So once we have done the fuzzification, then we will go ahead with the rule base. And after that, we will see the deep. We will see with one example, and then we will see the Two to three examples, so that we can go ahead with defalsification. So I thought of uh, completing everything, but this becomes very big video. So I like to uh, cut in short. So please try to understand. This is the falsification concept. So I I will write here. This is falsification. This part is the falsification part. Once falsification part has been completed, then we need to go ahead with the. Uh, we need to go ahead with that part that part is uh, rule based part okay thank you thank you so much and we will go ahead with rule based part